Good morning from another day here in Ireland during our awesome van life adventure. This morning we woke up in a motorhome campsite in the town of Sneem and today we are continuing on the Ring of Kerry. We kind of started the Ring of Kerry yesterday in Killarney and we went to Killarney National Park and then to drive from Killarney National Park to here in Sneem we did a bit of the Ring of Kerry but we have a lot more to see. The plan today is to drive the Ring of Kerry, like I said. That involves basically driving southwest right now before looping back north and northeast on the other side of the peninsula. We're getting an earlier start today than we have in the past because we want to avoid the buses as long as possible. Apparently, the buses have to go in a counterclockwise motion, so we're going in a clockwise motion to try to avoid them, but we want to try to get as far as possible so we don't have to like cross paths with them too much today especially on some of these skinnier roads and bridges it could be a little dicey i think We tried to go to our first stop, but there was a height restriction there, so we couldn't fit. It was like 1.9 meters, and this bad boy, the Thunderbird, no, the Bluebird, excuse me, is 3.2 meters tall. So, now we are pivoting, finding our next spot along the way. We, this, this is the same spot. Oh, this is the same spot? Just on the other side. Oh! The rock. We made it to the beach. We made it! Oh, I am silly, apparently. I didn't realize that it was a, the same thing quick walk along the beach here. That salt air smells so good. It's actually a very nice day. It started out rainy this morning when we woke up, but now it's kind of cleared up a little bit. Still overcast, per usual here in Ireland, but it's warm. There's a little bit of a sea breeze. It's probably about low 60s, high 50s Fahrenheit, so not too bad. Just figured out the name of this place. It is Derry Nane Beach. Right now it is low tide, so the beach is actually massive. And if it's any indication about how pretty the beaches are here on the Wild Atlantic Way and the Ring of Kerry, we're in for a good day. This road is the skinniest one I've ever been on in my whole life. I'm so nervous. Thankfully it's 9.30 in the morning, so not many cars are out, but I don't know how this would be a two-lane road. I literally don't know. We uh, spot. <laughs> made it to our next spot. It's Ballin Skellig's Priory or B and Beach. Not much parking here, so um, I don't think we're gonna stay long. <laughs> we can't. Backing up, it's gonna be very interesting. I think you could three point turn. I think so. And by three, I mean fifteen. It's gonna be like twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the beauty of van life is I have to pee, so I'm gonna go pee. While Sarah goes and looks at the Abbey, time for me to turn this around. Let's see how it goes. We're on a very small, thin road. It's going to be about a million point turn. Whew. I would like to give a full shout out to whoever invented the rear view camera. You're a baddie. We just passed by our first bus of the day, going the opposite direction. So I'm thinking we made the right choice to go this direction. Made it to our spot, Kells Beach. This place is absolutely beautiful, per usual. I should stop. I should completely stop even saying that because everything is beautiful. 
but I can't help it. It looks a little bit different than the other ones we've been to. Um, still beautiful, still gorgeous. We have the rolling hills behind us that are super lush and green. All the bushes are coming out and showing their full spring colors, like the hydrangeas. Then we have the beach, it's beautiful, it's sandy, and then it also has this like rugged rock coastline. Yeah, Ireland, Ireland, I'm impressed. We've arrived at our final stop here on the Ring of Kerry. It is Ross Bay Beach, Ross Bay Strand. Not sure if I am pronouncing that correctly, but unfortunately it looks like we can't fit underneath the entryway into the parking lot. It's probably to prevent buses from going in, but it is definitely too short for us to go through. So we're gonna figure something out, but in the meantime, Sarah is getting us some ice cream from the stand right at the entrance, so. And have a little snack while I figure it out. You got it? Got the goods. Oh yeah. Here you go. With flake? With yours is with flake. Cheers. It's so funny, the Irish just seem to love their ice cream, but it's always the same ice cream. It's like vanilla soft serve with flake, which is a chocolate Cadbury bar thing that they put in it. You can get a cup or a cone. We opted for cups, but they're all over the place. Apparently these are called 99s when they're in a cone and have a flake on top. I'm not sure why yet, but Google says it's called the 99, and I knew that it was called something because I went when I went up there and asked if I could have like I said soft serve, so that was probably not the right word. But even if I said ice cream, he like looked a little confused. So yeah, it's called a 99. Why are they called 99s? They were named 99s in honor of Italy, as in the days of the Italian monarchy, and the king had a specially chosen guard of 99 men. This number became a synonym for special or first class. Cadbury claims. Hour 45 later, we've made it to the town called Adair for some lunch. Sarah found a place on her gluten-free app that looks pretty good, so we're gonna give it a shot. Fish and chips is probably what we're gonna be getting. Ireland so far for gluten free has been amazing. Love to see it. Yeah. We just got our fish and chips and onion ring from Ramona's. I am so excited about this. They have very strict celiac safe protocols. The fish, the birds also want our fish and chips. Um, they literally have a staff member go off and make everything so there's no cross contamination and it took like 15 20 minutes because dedicated fires and everything and so far it's amazing all right back on the road ooh, ooh, to ooh, one ooh. Ooh. <laughs> gotta get under here <laughs> <laughs> one more stop today We're gonna find our campsite for tonight and if park Fortnite, the app we've been using is correct it could be the best spot we've had. Easy peasy. Two euro toll on the N18. Tap to bed. Also, I'm so happy on these roads. Woohoo! Nice wide motorway. Multiple lanes. This is this is good. <laughs> We tell but it is very foggy out we just arrived at the cliffs of moor to hopefully find a campsite for the night nearby it's literally so foggy and rainy i think we we're like in the cloud like oh, yeah. i we i can't see more than like 25 50 meters in front of us we just arrived at the Cliffs of Moor, our campsite for the night. Park for night was correct. You can park overnight in this parking lot. Ooh, 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 so that is ooh. awesome. There's absolutely zero visibility <laughs> right now. So the guy, when we were coming in, we were we had to pay for two adult tickets, uh, 12 euro each. 
and the guy goes, just so you know, the tickets are non-refundable and we there's no visibility right now. You're not going to see anything. We were like, oh, can we park overnight? We were told we could. And he was like, oh, yeah, you can just yeah park over there by the other camper vans. There's like six other vans here. And then I asked, and the tickets are available as well tomorrow. So basically, once you leave and come back, that's like when the tickets get charged. So since we're here, the ticket will be charged once. So... We're going to hang tonight, and if the clouds go away before sunset, great. If not, we will see the cliffs tomorrow, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Wild night in starts now. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> well, today was a great day. Happy to be camping at the Cliffs of Moore, and we are excited to hopefully see them tomorrow. The clouds do appear to be letting up a little bit, so we're hoping that it stays through tomorrow. But if you're thinking about driving the Ring of Kerry, definitely do it. The Wild Atlantic Way is also absolutely stunning. The whole thing is beautiful. Highly recommend, even if you don't stop, if you just drive the whole way, it's absolutely beautiful. There are a ton of pull-offs, ton of places to see. We didn't see nearly all of them, but we absolutely loved everything that we did. And we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. We're the west coast of Ireland. The Moreland. 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 What an earth, Dan? That's an earth. Tub of the Marinin. Tub of the Marinin. Ready. Break. Break. No, you. Break. Break. Babe. And to start early. Sorry. And to start early to avoid them as much as possible. Whoa. 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 <laughs>